Guilty of crimes against humanity, a United Nations-backed court sentenced Nu Achi A and Kiyo Sampa to life in prison for murder, extermination, and other crimes. They are the two most senior surviving leaders of Cambodia's brutal Khmer Rouge regime. Cambodia's government and the UN called it a historic moment in international criminal justice. The United Nations flag was at half-mast in honor of 11 staff members killed in Gaza in the past month. The UN General Assembly heard an informal briefing on the situation there. The call was overwhelmingly for Israelis and Palestinians to negotiate a long-term solution. South Sudan is on the brink of a humanitarian catastrophe. A senior United Nations official is calling for international pressure to get warring parties to negotiate. After nearly eight months of fighting, more than 95,000 people are sheltering on UN compounds. Nearly four million people in the country are hungry, and the fighting continues. The scale of humanitarian operations in South Sudan has reached the point that, is not, that it now constitutes the biggest aid operation inside any single country. Early next week, the World Health Organization will discuss the use of experimental treatment in the ongoing Ebola outbreak. Two health workers in the United States are being treated with experimental medicine. Is that ethical? And if so, who else should get the limited treatment? Those are some of the questions the medical ethicist will discuss. The World Health Organization declared Ebola an international crisis. More than 900 people are infected and the number of cases is growing. The World Bank pledged $200 million to help contain its spread. Mary Robinson spoke to the Security Council for a final time on the situation in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. She steps down as Special Envoy for the Great Lakes region of Africa to take on the post of Special Envoy for Climate Change. She will mobilize political will and action ahead of Mr. Ban's climate summit in September. The International Day of the World's Indigenous People is on Saturday. The UN will screen a documentary about the two-row campaign, marking the 400th anniversary of the first agreement between indigenous nationals and European settlers. There are an estimated 370 million indigenous people in some 90 countries around the world. The UN is calling for their rights to be realized.